So today I want to share with you guys a really neat program that's really more kind of like a software center. It is a nice GUI program to help you manage your flat packs. This program is called Warehouse. People have been telling me about it for the last, uh, I would say, a couple of months I've been hearing a lot about this program so I recently installed it and I've got to say this is a pretty fantastic program now warehouse you can find the source code available over on github they are licensed under the GPL v3 so it is free and open source software under releases you can see the last release was 2.0.2 and that was three days ago so I've got the latest release because I installed warehouse via flat pack flat packs update themselves so I should be on the latest release if I scroll down a little bit, you can see the primary language that this is programmed in is Python. So those of you that maybe want to contribute to the project, if you know a little Python, you should be good. Now let me switch over to another workspace and let me actually launch the warehouse program so you guys can see this in action. And you can see it is a nice, really attractive kind of GUI package manager, if you will. If I move my head out of the way, it basically has three columns here. On the left side, you've got uh, this here, which is really more of a menu. You can see we've got packages, remotes, user data, snapshots, and install packages. I'm going to go back to packages. So packages are my installed packages. So this is everything I have installed as a flat pack. Now I don't have a ton of flat packs installed on my system. So my main distribution here on this particular machine, it's running Arco Linux and being an Arch based distribution. I have so much software that is natively packaged for Arch Linux or it's in the AUR, the Arch user repository. You know, I do install a lot of things as snaps and flat packs and app images. I really don't care where I I get my software you know I'll install any package format available but because on arch based distros it's not that necessary you know I just have a handful of flat packs installed in this case I have a handful of snaps I keep you know a dozen or so app images around for various things but you can see in the center column this is just a list of the things I already have installed we do have a couple of buttons here where I could filter the packages or I could select certain packages for various actions if I select for example example this discord flat pack I could tick that on and then I could perform an action such as uninstall if I wanted to uninstall that particular flat pack now, I do not want to uninstall any of these uh, the filter option would be great if you had like a ton of flat packs installed and of course some distributions do use flat pack as their primary packaging format so if you're on one of those distributions the filtering option is probably something really useful now on this far right hand column if I select one of my flat packs for example the bottles flat pack here you can see it's going to give me information about bottles it's going to tell me how much uh, user data it is using the installed size it's going to give me the application id licensing information installation information and commit information as well and once again you want to uninstall it you can uninstall it right here on this right hand sidebar or you can also just launch the program you do have a couple of different menus here now the main menu is actually over here on this far left column where you get open files keyboard shortcuts and about warehouse you can see if i go to the about information this is warehouse 2.0.2 again this is the absolute latest version and then keyboard shortcuts now i haven't played really with any of the keyboard shortcuts it's interesting they include key bindings for a program like this because this kind of program really i don't know why you would necessarily want hotkeys for any actions i think it's uh, this is one of the rare programs where i think most people are just going to want to point and click on things you know and i'm a key binding guy so i love programs having key bindings but i'm probably not going to play too much with the key bindings you also have a second uh, menu if you will over here on the right column so when you have this information about a specific flat pack you know you pick a flat pack here you get this little column over here you can show for example details about this particular flat pack if it's got anything to show uh, you can reinstall if you need to reinstall for example bottles in this case you can copy the launch command and you can also view snapshots now view snapshots is interesting so over here of course remember we had packages remotes user data and snapshots I don't have any snapshots what is a snapshot well with flat pack you can take snapshots of a particular flat pack so it's like a, a snapshot where it's um, basically a snapshot of the flat pack in that current state with that current 
user data or whatever, you know, kind of like you take a snapshot of your Linux system, for example. Well, this is the same thing except specifically for that flat pack. Now, obviously, I don't have any snapshots, but I do know this the command for some flat pack actions, like taking snapshots or purging uh, old data, things like that. Uh, there are not commands that I'm going to remember. <laughs> and I'm a terminal guy, right? I always have to go look up certain commands when I do them with Flatpak. But this GUI front end, this program warehouse, really makes some of these actions very easy. The snapshot actions, obviously, but also things like user data. I just mentioned user data. We have all of the Flatpaks that I have installed here. You can see this is the active data and then leftover data. This is leftover data from flat packs I did have installed, but I don't have installed now. This is the OBS flat pack. I have OBS installed uh, just as the native Arch package right now, but I guess I had the uh, flat pack version of OBS installed previously, and there's some leftover data. You can see about nine megabytes of data, and I can actually delete that. So that's really cool because normally to do that action is some kind of command, some flat pack terminal command, a command line. I don't know what the command is. I always got to go Google it, right? So this is really nice that Warehouse allows me to do that. Also under the remote section, of course, you can connect to various repositories. FlatHub, of course, is already connected here. You can see that's the current remote. We can add other popular remotes, such as the App Center remote or the FlatHub beta remote, or you could add a custom remote. So if you had a custom repository, maybe you have your own custom repository of flat packs that you build, you know, you could obviously add that as well. And of course, some people will want to use this as a way to install packages. So if I click on install packages, we can actually Go ahead and search in FlatHub for, I don't know, Zoom. I know Zoom has a flat pack. I have Zoom installed on my system, but I didn't install it as a flat pack. But if I wanted to, I could go ahead and click on that. And you can see here in the right hand column, now I get some information about Zoom. And if I move my head once again, you can see this button here, install. Now I'm not going to install it, but that is pretty easy. And yeah, I've got to say, installing flat packs sometimes can be a little tricky at the command line, even though that's certainly one of the easier things to do. Flat pack install name of package. But remember, the name of the packages are not necessarily, for example, bottles. It's not flat pack install bottles, it's flat pack install com.usebottles.bottles is actually the name of the package, right? It's a very weird uh, mission center here. It's io.missioncenter.mission center with some weird capitalization going on, right? So this, I, I think a lot of people will find it easier to go both search for certain programs and install certain programs as a flat pack using a GUI front end like Warehouse. So there you have it. Really cool little program. Guys, go check out Warehouse. You can install Warehouse with flat pack just do a flat pack install warehouse even though warehouse is not the actual real name of the program flat pack is pretty smart it will ask you uh, do you want to install io.github.warehouse whatever the name of the program just answer yes to that question now before i go i need to thank a few special people i need to thank the producers of this show of course i'm talking about matt steve armor dragon cap caveman darloff daedalus george lee met those Erion, paul peace arch Mador, realities for less red prophet roland more gentle and ubuntu and willie these guys they're my highest tiered patrons over on patreon without these guys this episode would not have been possible the show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen all these names you're seeing on the screen right now these are my support Supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work, please subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.